In the quiet town of Elmridge, nestled under a blanket of stars each night, lived a young boy named Augie. Augie was a dreamer, and his eyes were forever fixed on the night sky. He would spend hours gazing at the stars, imagining what lay beyond Earth's atmosphere. Augie, it's time for bed, his mother called from the doorway. With a reluctant sigh, Augie tore his gaze away from the stars and went inside. As he lay in bed, his mind raced with thoughts of galaxies, planets, and distant constellations. The idea of becoming an astronaut was firmly planted in his heart. Years passed, and Augie's fascination with the cosmos only grew. He read books about space, devoured documentaries, and even built his own makeshift telescope. His bedroom became a mini-observatory, adorned with posters of rockets and galaxies. As he entered high school, Augie's ambition was undeniable. He joined the school's science club, and his passion for space radiated in every conversation. His classmates admired his dedication, and his teachers encouraged his dreams. One day, as he flipped through a science magazine, an article caught his eye. A prestigious space program was accepting applications for young, aspiring astronauts. The prize was an opportunity to train at the Space Academy and possibly embark on a real mission. With his heart pounding, Augie started working on his application. He poured all his hopes, dreams, and knowledge into that single piece of paper. As the weeks passed, he polished and edited, making sure every word resonated with his burning desire. Months later, an envelope arrived. Augie's hands trembled as he tore it open. He read the first line. Congratulations, Augie. You have been selected for the space program. The air seemed to leave the room as he read those words again and again. He had done it. He was going to be an astronaut. His training at the Space Academy was intense. Augie worked tirelessly, honing his skills in zero gravity, navigation, and survival techniques. His classmates were equally driven, each with their own unique stories of how they came to aspire for the stars. One night, as they gathered around a campfire during a break, Augie shared his story. Ever since I was a kid, I looked up at the stars and wondered what lay beyond. Becoming an astronaut isn't just a goal for me, it's a part of who I am. As training progressed, Augie found himself forming deep connections with his fellow trainees. They supported each other through challenges, celebrated successes, and comforted each other in moments of doubt. The bond they shared was as strong as the gravitational pull of the moon. Finally, the day arrived. The crew of aspiring astronauts was set to embark on their first mission. Their mission, to repair a satellite that played a crucial role in studying distant stars. As they floated in space, surrounded by the cold darkness and the twinkling of stars, Augie felt a mixture of all awe and humility. The stars that had fueled his dreams were now his companions. With each task, he marveled at the intricacy of the universe. But as they returned to Earth, Augie found himself wrestling with unexpected emotions. Looking at the vast night sky from the comfort of his home, he realized that he had been driven by more than just a love for exploration. He had craved recognition, validation, and the title of an astronaut. Sitting on his rooftop, he confided in his telescope, I thought my dream was solely about the stars, but it's also about my ego, about being someone important. The stars above seemed to twinkle in response, offering a silent understanding. As time passed, Augie continued to pursue his passion for space, but with a newfound perspective. He shared his experiences with aspiring young scientists and astronauts, emphasizing the importance of humility and the willingness to learn from the universe. And as he lay on his rooftop once again, Looking at the stars that had guided him from childhood to adulthood, he whispered, Thank you for showing me that the true wonder of the stars lies not just in reaching them, but in the journey itself.